How's it going everyone? Uh, today is a bit of a special video for myself because this is actually the first Patreon sponsored reaction video that I will be doing. I've recently set up a Patreon where at the $5 tier uh, patrons get to request one album a month for me to either review or react to and the first one that we have here is a little EP slash three song single that is called High Tide by Sleep House. Now I know literally nothing about this band. I have no idea what kind of music they make. On iTunes it's listed under alternative but that's just the label that iTunes uses for any genre that isn't traditional. I mean, you can have the Glow Part 2 labeled as alternative and then some fucking weird ass experimental like noise album labeled as alternative. Like there's just no coherency in what alternative means. So I'm literally going into this completely blind. I have nothing else really to say. So I'm just going to start off here and we're going to check out the first track, which is called Skydiving in Dubai. Right off the bat, just like the guitar tones and the really steady rhythm and just how polished the mix sound, it's kind of reminding me of almost a Strokes kind of sound. I'm only 12 seconds into the track, so obviously I'm going to let these guys develop their own identity. I'm just saying it seems like that's what style of music we're getting. No one has ever felt like you, don't you think that I stay I like that uh, more high-pitched electric guitar that just kicked in there. Uh, that added a nice layer to things. I wasn't really expecting it. And yeah, that's that's a really nicely composed melody that's working off his vocals really well. Like the, the melodic work on this track so far is actually pretty excellent. And even that main guitar line, the, the more polished sounding one that I was talking about earlier, like it, it captures you into the song pretty well. So far, I'm actually, I'm actually digging it. Yeah, I think, I think the chorus is really strong on this. I mean, overall, like, I wouldn't say that they're doing too, too much to really stand apart from their influences, but I'm not going to knock a song that seems really well composed, really well put together, and from what I'm catching from the lyrics, it sounds pretty well written as well. And I really like the lead singer's voice. I think it complements the instrumental really well. He sounds really at home. And on a more straightforward note, to my ears, he just sounds like a good singer. I really dug how they ended that too, the way the drums just ratcheted up there, got a lot more intense. And I mean, the whole thing was actually, it had, it had a really propulsive energy to me. Like there wasn't really any dull moments. So yeah, overall, I actually really liked that. I actually thought that was a really good track. Like if you're into this style of music, I personally don't see what's not to like about that. So yeah, they've started off on a good note here. And now let's try track two, which is called Clementine. I'm really liking the drum fills on this one so far. They're really smoothly executed. It's a lot breezier sounding than the last track too so far. So far I would say this track is a little more underwhelming. Um, it has a very soft sound, which obviously isn't inherently bad, but it's kind of feeling a bit flat to me at the moment. Like I kind of felt like that whole first verse would kind of lead into something or progress into something, but it kind of felt like it was building like slightly and then just kind of dropped off all the energy again and now it kind of feels like it's just restarting from an even lower point. So I hope that, you know, near the end of the song, maybe something more flashy or exciting or gripping happens, but so far it is a bit mid to me. You know, it got a little more upbeat there, and I'm liking this part more, but I don't know if it fully compensates for what I consider to be not the most exciting opening to a song. And I mean, all the fundamentals are still here on this one. The vocals still sound really good. The mix still sounds really polished and nice. So far, I'm just not into the composition itself, and it's far from bad, but I just find it a bit boring. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, this chorus, like, this is definitely my favorite part of the song. This is the second time I've heard this bit, but again, the guitar melody is really nice. I love his vocal melody. I think it's the way he kind of, like, peaks and then rises down again. Like, he peaks really quickly and then descends for the rest of his melody. I think it sounds really cool, and just the notes he's hitting in general sound really good with his voice. So, yeah, I'm digging the chorus to this one a lot, but unfortunately, the other components of it uh, still didn't work for me. But I still have hopes for this third and final song, which is called You're Still My Favorite Thing. So, let's hope that these guys end this EP with a bang. This one already has a stronger groove than the last track, so I'm already like, I'm already feeling noticeably more invested in it. So let, let's get back to it. I really dig the drums on this one. They're they're exciting me. Not that they're crazy or anything, but they just sound really pronounced. The groove is really good. There's some interesting shifts in the groove thanks to some fills. So, you know, drums don't need to be crazy, super blah, 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 playing them like you're a fucking black metal drummer to be good. You know what I mean? You can have just more stripped back rhythms like this that still hit really hard thanks to the tiny details and just how they're incorporated into the rest of the mix. I didn't like that one quite as much as the first track, but I still did enjoy it definitely more than the second. So you know what? Two for three is not bad. Again, I wouldn't say there's anything about these guys' sound or style that's gonna particularly stand out or draw you to them. You know, there's nothing about them now where like, if I think of Sleep House, I'm gonna think of something unique to them. But as far as executing this indie rock, you know, alternative rock sound, I think they did a pretty good job. Again, especially on that first track, that's actually a song I would consider listening to again. So I wouldn't say this is anything to go crazy over, but it appears based on the amount of material these guys have that they're an up-and-coming band and if that's the case and these guys are just starting out and they're still just trying to find their identity and mainly right now they're just you know trying to write good songs I think they're on the right path so I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this one I mean if it sounded interesting to you guys definitely go check it out go support a band that is seemingly really small because I also couldn't find much information on them uh, when I looked them up just a few interviews here and there but either way I had fun doing this I'm excited to react to more albums that people request through patreon and then just other albums in general like after this I think I'm going to record a reaction uh, to the new Conway album so maybe I'll have that out soon as well so I hope all you guys are doing well whatever you're doing out there and thank you guys as always for watching and I'll see you next time